I guess what frustrates me is not the bankers or the borrowers or any of the aspects of it, but the fact that our Congress refuses to enforce the rules so of So let's set up some new rules right are, now. Dylan, let, let's, yeah. we, all, we all agree uh, uh, on the insanity of what happened, yes. okay? What are the new rules? Because at the end of the day, yep. my theory is, I'm saying, yep. you know, yep. no matter where we draw the line, yep. There'll Man's be bad greed. Actors, There'll sure. be new junk bonds. Oh, whatever sure. it is. Absolutely. So let's put it. You, your your yep. show is all about solving problems. Yep. Next 60 seconds, you've got the pulpit. Yep. Give me the solution to keep these scum in the lines. Too big to fail. Oh. In other words, you're the, that you. I, if I don't solve too big to fail, I don't solve the problem. It's only too big to fail that is the problem for us. If you and I want to start, start a bank of, of where we're weasels and we just try and steal right. money, but we aren't that good at it or can't get that big in doing it, our liability to the overall system sure. is not that much. But if I am able to pay off the government to allow me to assemble a massive financial institution where I can now, again, assemble the trillions of dollars in risk that I cannot afford to bear, pay myself for the trillions of dollars in risk, and then stick the risk with the American people to not deal with too big to fail is to perpetuate generational theft. Is to perpetuate generational theft. But you said the scum. Okay. It's, what I'm talking and about. Susie oh, wins. Who are, did, who are the scum? What I'm Call talking about out. is anybody who basically was taking risk with money with no downside on their own and are getting paid well, big bonuses. Well, billions of dollars. Paid. I don't mind people that make money take your big piece. There are so many if bankers, you can assume not the risk. all and not even the majority, Susie. but there are many ah. bankers out there who there is no who are getting bonus as we speak, 31 billion in bonuses right. when they lost 80 billion. Susie. A decent man but, doesn't know, take a penny of that. Hold the, on, the, hold the, on, let Susie Welch in here, Susie. The number of people who are responsible to sort of vilify individuals individuals say this person mm. stole this, this is an individual scum. There were rating agencies. You know, the whole system yes. went off the tracks yes. at the same time. Yes, but that's the misdirect to perpetuate the theft. In other words, because everybody had to play, because I needed the because the, I needed stupid borrowers, I need bad journalism, I need greedy bankers, I need right. all these right. players I need Moody's, to come together. I need, Fannie Mae, I need ratings agencies, right. I need low cost of capital, right. I need a lot of things to come together. But there's only a small group of people who have the power to set the rules by which the game is played. And those people, going back to the late 90s with the creation of Graham Leach Bliley, expanded risk with your deposits, <coughs> excuse me, Commodity Futures Modernization Act of 1999. It's very were, clear by the way, I'm reading where the decisions were made when you look at it. There were, I, 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 you know, I think you can put it on the heads of these individuals. You can go ahead and try to do it. it I put it on the head easy, of the, No, no, it, it doesn't it make easy. it easy. It doesn't make it easy. Here, here's the deal. Capitalism <laughs> is either investors investing money into the economy, into right. businesses large and small. That's why Wall Street exists, as a vehicle to push money into the but economy. What you, want, what you want to do is you want to punish the investors. No, the I don't. The That's you're the putting words guys. in my mouth, my friend. I don't want to do that at all. I want to protect the investor. Right. What I do is I want to punish the Ponzi scheme <laughs> artists and the parlor game players but that's how who are playing a parlor game, calling themselves investors. But, Donnie, it is a parlor game at America's expense. And if you want to call yourself an investor, but all you're doing is playing a parlor game at a, as America's expense, I believe that Americans are intelligent enough to know the difference between Donnie Deutsch, who makes an investment in a business, and Donnie Deutsch, who uses his influence and power to play a speculative parlor game to pay himself at America's expense. I'm, I'm and, and, and my experience with way, Donnie is he's a, in category one investor, not in category two vampire hey, capitalist. Can I ask you a question, Dylan? Yeah. Just bring you and me. Yeah. What are you drinking? How many lines did you do before oh, coming no. out here today? <laughs>